Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be seeing about how to download MP3 files from this web page, Oxford 3000 and 5000. So here we have a lot of words in it. So each word has two audio files over here. So if you consider the word active, we can see two audio files. Let me play both the audio files. Active. Active. In two different accents. So we'll see how to download all audio files from this web page. It's an interesting task, uh, but not difficult. Uh, so let's begin. I'll open uh, developer tools by pressing Control Shift I. And I'll click on this button, select an element in the page to inspect it. And uh, I'll hover and I'll select this entire div class. We can see that this div class has uh, all the MP3 files over here. I'll right click over here and I'll go to copy and I'll click on copy element. I'll paste it on notepad plus plus. So we have 500 and 11, 512 lines of code over here. However, we have over a uh, lot of uh, uh, MP3 files. So like we should have at least 5,000 audio files, 5,000 to 10,000 audio files minimum. Uh, but here we have only uh, 512 lines of code. Um, let me scroll up and then I'll search for Control F mp3 i'll make sure normal is selected and i'll click on find next so here we have the mp3 file this line number 227 which we are in currently now the line number 227 it is a very long line which has uh, all the mp3 files you can see that we can scroll we can keep scrolling it's uh, quite lengthy we can see that it, the length is around 3.5 million uh, like uh, 3.5 million characters in that line whereas others no uh, we can see over here we have uh, the 3.5 million uh, 3.58 million uh, characters in this particular line which has all the mp3 files over here so if we search for mp3 again we should uh, see the mp3 file let me scroll a little to the right so here we have the first uh, mp3 file this is actually a path it's not a full url it's a path um, so let me play an audio file now i'll open network and i'll uh, play a random audio file let's play this word amazing amazing uh, we can see that uh, a new uh, request has been raised to play this uh, mp3 file i'll right click on this and i'll click on copy link address let me paste it uh, on a new bra new web page new tab amazing you can see that it's playing so we have got the audio file which is required um so let me paste over here so we can see uh, we can do we can see that uh, this uh, mp3 file contains the domain name domain name over here and also the path whereas here we have only the path so that means the code has been written to append both the domain name and the path um, so we need to do that uh, we need to combine the domain name and the path so let me copy this line and paste it on a new notepad uh, plus plus document let me scroll so now everything is one in one single line we need to make sure that uh, 
all the mp3 lines all the mp3 documents are in new new lines so we can see a similarity so this particular uh, set of characters it it's going to be repeated after this word dot mp3 so we have this one um, code colon uh, double quotes space data hyphen src hyphen ogg uh, is equal to quote you can see this pattern is going to be repeated after every mp3 file um, i see we can see over here so it's going to be repeated so what we are going to do is we will just um, replace this with a new line so i'll copy this and i'll press ctrl h and in uh, find what we have already the uh, we have it it already pasted the required contents in replace with i'll type slash n and i'll type extended i'll select extended and i'll click on replace all it's going to take <clears throat> few seconds so here we are after dot mp3 it's a new line so we can see the after mp3 it's a new line and let's check out this line oh after mp3 we have a new line so here uh, the first uh, task is done now what we need to do is before this one we have this one uh, we have this uh, text which we don't need it so we need to remove that also but however it's going to keep changing for each and every line so uh, i will use a trick to uh, remove this so i'll select this particular part which is common for all the mp3 documents you can see this over here i'll copy this and i'll click ctrl h and i'll click on find all in current document so you can see that each and every line has this particular thing highlighted so we just don't need to replace this with a comma i'll select this ctrl c ctrl h and we have the thing pasted over here which we selected and replace with i'll type comma and i'll select normal mode and i'll click on replace all so it's replaced <coughs> So let me save this to desktop as document.csv because uh, I want to separate the unwanted text from the mp3 path. So uh, the saving it as in .csv will help. So let me save and let me open the csv document. So here we have two columns which is separated by comma so the first column we don't need it which contains the unwanted data and we have the second column which has all the path to each and every mp3 we have over 11894 paths we just need to add uh, the we just need to add the domain name to each and every uh, line so what one way is like uh, I can create a new column in the front and uh, we have this domain over here. I will just paste this domain over here. Let me flash fill it. So we have the URL, uh, the domain name and the path which is in um, two different uh, columns so we don't need this uh, slash over here i'll remove this and let me flash fill okay so here uh, uh, we are done so now we have got the domain name and the path we just need to use curl command to download all the mp3 files so the curl command will be uh, curl.exe hyphen o followed by uh, the URL. So this is the command. Um, we just need to add this in front of each and every line. So let me copy this. I'll uh, create a new uh, column and I'll add this and I, let me flash fill it. 
So we have three columns over here, which we can use to download all the MP3 files. So let me select all and I'll copy this and I'll paste it on a new notepad++ document. We have some unwanted tab spaces over here. We need to remove that. You can see the space over here and space over here. That is because it was in different columns, three different columns. That's why we are having the space. So let me um, uh, uh, so here what we can do is uh, I'll select from here and tell I let me scroll down. I'll hold shift and alt and then it will just select this part. I'll uh, change this to space, one single space. It's done. And now we have this uh, space which we need to remove. So I'll select this, or I'll select this and let me scroll all the way to the top and I'll hold alt and shift. I'll select this part and we can remove the space. Okay, now we have the URLs, all the commands necessary to download all the MP3 files from this web page. Um, since there are over uh, 10,000 uh, files, uh, like your system might get slowed down or it's going to take some time to start the process. Uh, so, to simplify it, we can uh, download every 100. Uh, 100 or 500 uh, uh, mp3 documents. For this, uh, for simplicity, I will download just 100 mp3 audio files from this uh, page. I'll just select the first 100 uh, commands. Uh, this is 101. From 100, and I'll click I'll select over here. So we have 101, um, uh, sorry, 100 uh, mp3 files selected command to download one another mp3 files. I'll open this particular folder which is empty and I'll right click and I'll click on show more options and I'll click, I'll select open in terminal. So I'll paste uh, all the contents and it should start downloading. You can see it start downloading. So let me play some random Files, I'll open VLC. Abandon. Okay. Abandon. So this is how we can download all MP3 files from this web page. Hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.